Here is 8 new features on TikTok Live Studio, and I think the final one on this list is the most powerful feature ever added to Live Studio. So let's dive straight in with subscriber alerts. If I hit add source here and hit alert, you can see we now have the subscribers option here. It's pretty obvious, as it says here, you get a notification for every new subscriber. As usual, we can change this picture here by clicking this icon to any square image. We can change the color behind this star symbol by clicking here and picking any color. And we can change the color behind the text in the background here by picking a color here. And you can choose one of TikTok's three alert sounds, although you still can't add your own custom sound. Of course, you can continue to add in follower and gift alerts as well. You can set an alert duration. And once you've hit add source, you can click on the alert and you can drag it around and you can resize it. And staying with the theme of subscribers, TikTok's now added a highly requested feature, which is subscriber goals. So we head back into the sources here, we pick goal this time, and along with followers and gifts, I can now add a subscriber goal. So obviously you just choose any number for your goal. You can add custom text here, or just leave it on the default of subscriber goal, and simply hit add source. And as you can see now, I've got a subscriber goal, which I can obviously resize and move around the screen. Now the one downside to this, if I try and add another goal, it says you can only add one goal, so you can't have follower or gift goals at the same time. Now sticking with the theme of new sources, you can now capture your phone screen inside Live Studio and show literally anything from your phone. For example, you could use your phone as your webcam. So to do this, obviously we once again add a source and you choose your mobile device, either Android or iOS. Now, the first time I clicked on iOS, it prompted me to download this Bonjour print services, and that simply lets my iPhone connect to my Windows PC. Once the print service is downloaded, you simply hit add source here. And as you can see on the screen now, it says I have to go to the screen mirror settings in the iPhone control center. So I'm on my phone here. I'm just gonna swipe down in the top right corner, click on the screen mirroring, and then click on TikTok Live Studio. As you can see, it's now connected and it's showing everything on my phone screen. And as mentioned earlier, I could, for example, pull open my phone camera, of course, flip the camera. And as you can see, I could use my phone camera as my webcam. Now, while you can resize this in Live Studio, it looks like right now it's bugged. So you can't hold the Alt key to crop it. So for example, if I go back to the camera here, it's not gonna let me crop off these black areas at the top and the bottom. Now I'm sure that's a bug and I'm sure TikTok will fix that in a future update. Now we have one more extremely powerful source to mention, which you can see at the end of the video. But for now, let's move into the settings. And we'll start in the stream quality tab. And as you can see here, we now have a test speed button, which is gonna test my internet speed and recommend me the correct settings. This dial here is bugged, my speed is above 6.5. And now that it's complete, it's given me my upload speed and it suggested a relevant resolution, FPS and bitrate to match my upload speed. If we head into the advanced settings here, you can now see we have this stream latency settings. So all this does is add a delay to our stream. So if we wanna get rid of those pesky stream snipers, we can add a few seconds delay to make it harder for them. Now let's move on to a new setting, which is the in-game overlay. Pretty simple. You can now pin your chat to your screen when you're live. Now, why would you want this? Because we do have the chat box source, which already exists. Well, this in-game overlay is useful if you only have one screen and you don't wanna use your phone to read the chat. And it's also useful for tracking gifts in the gifts tab here as well. You can lock it in place by pressing this lock panel button and you can toggle these options here to hide your live status and to hide your real-time view account. So if you've only got one monitor, give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments. So moving back into the main section of Live Studio, we have this new button in the top right here called Markup, and this lets us draw lines, arrows, or rectangles on the screen like I'm doing now. Now it has a few different options. For example, I can change the thickness. I can choose the shape such as arrow using this setting here, and I can use the color picker here to pick a new color. If you want to erase just parts of it, you can use the eraser tool like I'm doing now, and you can undo and redo any actions using these buttons here. And if you just want to get rid of everything, you just hit delete. So that's markup, super useful if you want to highlight part of your screen to your viewers. Now last, but certainly no means least, this is what I think is the most powerful feature ever added to Live Studio so far. And we're talking about browser sources, or as TikTok's calling them, links. So the same as any browser source in OBS or Streamlabs, I can simply put any link here. For example, I could put my Twitch or YouTube alerts in this box 
So for example, my TikTok viewers could see when I'm getting new subscribers on Twitch. So for my example, I'm gonna add my TikTok gift incentive alerts that I talked about in my previous video. So I'm just gonna copy the link, head back into Live Studio, paste it into the box. I'll just set the resolution to the normal screen dimensions. We'll keep the sound on. And it does look like the custom resolution is currently bugged, but we can just resize it to whatever we want. So now the browser source is added. And in my example, whenever somebody sends me a specific gift, such as a rose, it's gonna play a certain sound on my stream. So I'll put on screen now the video for playing sounds after receiving gifts. Don't forget to join my Discord if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.